Hey, what's going on, Gemini's? Butch Terra here. I am going to do your April read. Uh, it is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Uh, today I'm going to be using the Incromancy Tarot. Super, super impressed with this deck. Uh, every card was designed by a different tattoo artist which makes it the most unique deck I've ever seen. Uh, I love tattoos and I love tarot, so, I mean, it's, it's a great combination for me as well. <laughs> Anyone that collects tarot, uh, tarot decks, or if you do tarot yourself, um, I highly recommend it. It, it, it holds up well. Um, I know they're a limited edition, but I, I do think they are making more, and I think they actually have a second set out. I got this as a gift, so... Um, I've been using it a lot and it's still holding up pretty well. Um, with that being said, let's get it. You know what we have for Gemini for April All right, Gemini. So the first thing I see is I feel like this person, I, I, I this energy that that's around you, I feel like there is some distance between the two of you. You know, I, I feel like you have a really strong connection with this person, but I feel like it's almost like lately you feel like it's, you're being pushed away. You know, you're feeling a lot of defensive energy from this person. You know, I, I feel like there is, it, it feels like they're in this self-imposed prison. You know, it, it's like they're building their walls up against you. Now, I, I feel like this can be very confusing because I, I do feel like you, like I said, there is this strong connection you have with this person. You felt it was both ways. You know, with that lover's card, something very deep happening here. You know, someone that you could really open up to, someone that you had a really, you know, you know have a really great connection with. You know, we have that Knight of Wands, a Sagittarius energy. I feel like there's a lot of passion between the two of you. I feel like there's a lot of physical energy. You know, and I feel like you felt like there was more. You know, you, you enjoy each other. You have a good time with this person. You know, you have a lot of fun with this person. I feel like you can be yourself with this person. That's why you felt like there was such a strong connection. You know, it's very easy to be comfortable with this person. But I feel like lately it's been almost like you feel this defensive energy. Like I said, like that self-imposed prison, almost like it, it, it seems like they're trying to shut you out. Now, I feel like there's a lot going on here that you may not be seeing. And, it, and, and there's a reason why you're not seeing it. You know, there's things happening right in front of you that you're not seeing. I feel like this person, I feel like they're going through some shit and it's just... You know, because I do feel like a lot of anxiety coming from them. That feeling of feeling defeated. You know, those late nights not being able to sleep. And I feel like that distance that you feel from this person has nothing to do with you. You know, I, I feel like this person's working on their own shit. I feel like they got their own shit going on in their own mind that really has nothing to do with you. And it's almost like their form, you know, I get this protective energy. We got that emperor. I feel like they're trying. they're almost trying to protect you from it. You know, I, I feel like it's it's almost like it, it's partly the fact that they're trying to protect you, but there's also that prideful energy, you know, that King of, King of Wands in reverse. 
I feel like it's almost like they feel weak if they expose it to you. You know, they're trying to keep you distant from it. They're trying to protect you. You know, I, I just feel like, I, I, I do feel like, I feel like it's, it, it's to the point, the fact that they're holding back from you almost shows they care more than you think they do. You know, you think they don't care because of the way they've been acting, but I feel like, I feel like it's almost the opposite. I feel like the reason why they're hiding shit from you is because they don't want to burden you with it. And it doesn't really have anything to do with you. I feel, I feel like it's their own burdens that they're dealing with, their own, their own mess. You know, I feel like what I'm seeing here is I, I just feel someone that, it, it, you know, started dealing with something and, it, it, and it's like they don't want to put that on you. You know, they're not at that place where they feel like they, they can expose themselves completely. You know, I, I feel like they are honest with you. And I feel like when it has to do with the two of you, I feel like they, they are honest. But I feel like there is a part of them that they do hide because they're they're afraid of looking weak in front of you. And also they're afraid of putting it on on you as well. And and I feel like that's where the, the, the wall came up is because with, with Gemini's, you have to communicate. I mean, they're the communicators. And when you're not getting that communication, it's almost like you have to figure out what's going on and, and why they're not doing this and why is this changed. And with Gemini's, they can go through a billion things in their head. At, and, it, and it's, I have a, a long history with Gemini's and I know how they think. You have to be clear with them because they'll be clear with you. So they expect that back. And when they don't get that, that's when the mind starts working. You know, what are they doing? What are they hiding from me? Now, for all you cross watchers, you know, it, it, it is. Gemini's are, are very smart and they pick up on things. So you trying to hide something comes off suspicious. Now, with this person, they know what they want, Gemini. And we have the devil card in reverse. It's telling me don't give up. You know, don't give up on this. You know, don't don't let this little, you know, there is something here. You you were right in the fact that you had, you know, you felt you had this connection with, with this person. Your intuition was right. Just keep trusting that. Because I feel like, I feel like things are turning around. I feel like this person... Like I said, they only think about you. They they do want to be with you. They know what they want. You know, they're not walking away from this. I just feel like they're afraid of exposing themselves. They're afraid of telling you how they truly feel and what's really going on with them. Because, like I said, for multiple reasons, one which they don't want to look weak. You know, they, they that's that pride swallowing energy. When you're with the right person, when you're with that person... That person has to see you in all aspects. Everybody has the weak side of them. You know, everybody has that side of them that they, they'd rather not expose. But this person is not walking away from this. They don't want to walk away from this. They don't want to, you know, lose you. And that's why they're doing what they're doing. They think they're doing the right thing. But I feel like... I feel like they're going to feel the distance as well. And I feel like that's what's really going to be the game changer here. You know, that's when I really feel th that things are, are going to change for you. You know, they're starting to see what they're doing wrong with that five of wands. You know, they're starting to see that they're pushing you away, starting to see that they feel like there's a distance between the two of you. And I feel like that's what's going to open up the communication. You know, finally going to, they want to clarify. They want to make that clear to you that it's not you. And I feel like when they do that, they're also going to start being more clear about what it is. And, and really, that connection they feel with you, they got to nurture it by by including you with that star card. And I feel like once this happens, you know, I feel like we can finally move forward with this. You know, and I, I do feel like you will be, you know, you will be fulfilled once you know what's going on. And like I said, with Gemini's, you can't leave them in the dark. You know, you got to be very clear with them because they're always going to be clear with you. You know, you got to be open and you got to, you know, you got to take that next step. 
And like I said, it is a bit of facing their fears with that moon card. But I feel like, like I said, I feel like they're feeling the distance happening and, and they will start nurturing this connection. And then they, like I said, when they open up, I feel like you, it's going to be a lot of clarity and you can finally move forward this connection. Like I said, the, the part of them there is trying to protect you by not putting their shit on you, putting their baggage on you. But they're definitely in their head. And they're thinking, they think by shutting you out, it, it's keeping you safe. What it's doing is, is drawing a wedge between the two of you. You know, you feel like they're holding something back from you. You feel like they're hiding something from you. You feel like they're retreating from you. When this is the time when they're supposed to be moving forward together. This is the time we're supposed to put trust in each other. This is the time that we're supposed to, you know, depend on each other. You know, that's the thing with telling people. People say, okay, I, I don't want to share the bad shit because when they find out, they might not want to be with me. The truth is, they're going to find out sooner or later. You're better off being honest about it. And like I said, it's, they may not, you know, when you tell someone the problems that you're having, they may not be able to help you, but at least they're in the loop. Nobody wants to be out of that loop because they feel like you're pushing them away. You, They feel like they don't matter to you because you you're not being honest about what's going on. Like I said, I do feel like they, this person is honest with you. I just feel like there is some things that they omit. You know, some things they don't say. But like I said, I, I do feel like this person finally, you know, seeing what they're doing, seeing how they're losing that connection with you. And I feel like that's going to step this person up into that next, that next level where they can finally open up and, and just l let the cards fall where they may. I mean, this goes for any relationship. I mean, one person's hiding things. You're not doing them any favors. You're not protecting them by keeping them in the dark. But like I said, I, I do see um, a lot of forward movement. I do see, you know, that fulfillment. And we also have the sun card as well. So I do see a lot of happiness coming. And I feel like the happiness, I feel like what they're missing too is, is almost like when you're dealing with a problem on your own. Uh, you're kind of taking it all on to yourself. You know, and, and I feel like opening up to you is going to release a lot of that that weight and that pressure on them. And I feel like it's it's actually going to help them more than they believe it's going to help them. You know, when you're holding back little secrets, when you're holding back little things because you think you're doing the right thing, it, it's putting so much pressure on you. And that's what's causing that anxiety. Those late nights not being able to sleep is because, you know, you're not being honest with someone that you have every reason to be honest with. But like I said, I do see it. I do see them opening up to you. I do see them finally taking that next step. Now, I'm not going to promise it's going to be quick. You know, I, I do feel like they're going to tell you a little bit at a time because they don't want to lose you. You know, you thought they didn't care, but this is this is going to uh, confirm that they do. You know, and I feel like they do what they do. It's not out of malicious. It, it, it's not malicious. It's it's them thinking they're doing you a favor or they're trying to protect you. But keeping secrets is never an, is never a favor. Now with this person, we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have Aries, Leo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I do feel some Capricorn in there as well. You know, we, we have so many ideas in our head. You know, when you really care about someone, you try to protect them. Uh, but like I said, not giving them information is not protecting them. You know, it, it's selfish. And it's, I mean, like I said, they're doing it out of a place where they think they're doing the right thing. But, you know, like I said, with Geminis, they know when shit's up. They know what's going on. They know there's something going on. And if you don't tell them, then they have to figure it out for themselves or they start making up, you know, um, scenarios in which are playing out right now. And trust me, I know <laughs> I've dealt with Gemini's, you know, they, they like to have the information. And if you care about this person, like it's it, like, like I can see that you do, you need to be open. You need to be honest. You know, you can't hide shit from people, especially people that you have a deep connection with because they pick up more shit from you than you think they do. When something's off, they know it's off. That's what I have for you.
Be good. Take care. Stay safe.